Well, that, that would have been my first question to the Chancellor. You know, I, I'll get on to your mini budget shortly, but firstly, at Her Majesty's funeral, were you high on GAC or do you need to see a mental health professional? Either way, I defy anyone to watch that video and think this guy is fit to run the economy. I'm, I'm always ready. <clears throat> The Chancellor's tax cut bonanza sent shockwaves across... I'm not saying bonanza. Because it makes it sound like a good thing. It's like saying Fred West's lady-killing jamboree or yeah, a friendly get-together of cancer cells. Well, find an alternative. <sighs> so who'd have thought it, eh? Liz Truss, the most right-wing Prime Minister in my lifetime. And that includes Tony Blair. That was a joke. And that includes Maggie Thatcher. And that's not a joke. Don't be fooled by her mousy disposition and disarming lack of charisma. Liz Truss is far more dangerous than you could possibly imagine. She should be feared. She is a fundamentalist, a born-again conservative, a sock puppet for the IEA and other sinister right-wing think tanks. And by the time she and her cabal of ideologues are kicked out of office, she may very well have bankrupted the nation. It's, it's like they know they haven't got another election in them. So they, they may as well just go for broke, literally. They've had their decade in the sun and now it's time for them to reap the rewards with one final game of class warfare. One last all out assault in order to combat the cost of living crisis that will force millions of hardworking families into poverty. The Tories have decided that we need tax cuts for the most wealthy and tighter rules on benefits for the poor. And with a straight face, they tell us that lifting the cap on bankers' bonuses is, and I quote, a key part of their levelling up agenda. It's as if the phrase gaslighting was invented for this very situation. The Chancellor tells us cutting taxes for people earning over 150,000 is fair for all, that these cuts favour people across the board. Lies! The reversal in national insurance will, for example, help the richest by £1,800 and will help the poorest by £7.66. pence. We are not a poor country, yet millions face a winter of destitution after a decade of mishandling of the economy combined with a summer of complete inaction, followed by a big, fat, millionaire's trickle-down wank of a mini-budget full of economic plans that Trust says she will pursue relentlessly. When has trickle-down economics ever worked for anyone other than those at the top? Well, the rich get richer, helping to stimulate growth and a healthy economy. What is the point of a healthy economy and growth if it pushes people further into poverty, forcing them to rely not on the welfare state, because that, of course, has been all but dismantled in its entirety, but instead relying on charity, on food banks? It's morally repugnant if you're poor. If you're struggling, this government is here to punish you. The implication being that being poor is a choice. If you can't afford to heat your home, wrap yourself in a blanket. And if the cost of living crisis means you can't afford to live, well, frankly, the more lazy, poor, hungry, shitty little citizens that die this winter, the better. Particularly if you're elderly, because then at least you won't be sponging off the state, using up all that tax that rich people no longer have to pay. Liz Truss's government has little concern and zero compassion for the majority of people in this country. They don't care about you or your hungry hungry children, or your shivering granny, or your kid's rotting school, or your two-year wait for an operation. And if you look at the state of the economy this morning, you have to ask yourself, do they really care about that either? Because if they did, then how come the economy is in a worse state than my gusset after a nasty follow-through? Help the rich, fuck the poor, whilst curbing our rights to protest over what is frankly a sinister shift in policy without any mandate whatsoever. That is this government's agenda. What? No, that doesn't work. Let's just stick with Bonanza, shall we? I'm getting a bit chilly out here. 
the Chancellor's tax cut bonanza has sent shockwaves across the markets, the pound sinking to an all-time low.